Hi guys, let's learn how to repair a washing machine. I already made a video about how to repair the control board. Step by step, that video applies for many other brands. I changed some components on it and as example, this board belongs to a machine that came here and this machine was totally dead, didn't do anything. I changed some components and after that the machine came back to life. Now it turns on and it made all the functions that it should do. So I strongly recommend you to watch the video about how to repair the control board. Using this machine, let's learn a little bit about the machine's components. Let's go first to the water valves. Water valves always fail in the machine. The main reason is because we sometimes forget to open the water source and they start heating. Like always, try to pick up the number from it and you can order the right part. But also, to tell you a secret, they are very standard components and you don't need anything special from it you can use other valve in the same place. To make the test, we can use the voltage test just to make sure the voltage is arriving to its place. But this kind of test, the voltage test, is only proving that the control board and the components like transistors, triacs, relays and connections are good. It's not testing the valve so in order to test the bulb, we have to go for two kind of tests. If we have access to the connectors, we should make a current measurement or resistance measurement to ensure it is not an open circuit. Current measurement has some complications. We need to open one of the wires and try to protect from a short circuit, place the multimeter in between the wire and the bulb and to work with electricity. In this case, it's less complications to work with the ohm meter and just to check if there is resistance in the valve, then we ensure it's not an open circuit. The resistance in the valve should be just few thousand of ohms, shouldn't be hundreds of thousands or something alike because it's considered an open circuit already. From the valve, our next step is the pressure sensor. This kind of pressure sensors has some adjustable parts. Please do not try to adjust anything. We don't have to adjust anything on it. Its adjustment comes from factory. From the pressure sensor factory. If you don't know what you are doing, don't do crazy things. The way to test the pressure sensor is with the continuity, the ohm meter, and it has internal switches, one or two switches, probably. The test is very easy. We only have to apply some pressure in my case, I'm blowing some air with a hose and as you can watch here, the pressure makes the switch to close or to open or make the switches to close or to open. Easy test. Next step is the door lock. The door lock is something that will fail sooner or later in your watch machine or the customer's watching machine. What we have to do is to replace it and we can repair it too if we can try. Most of the time we have problems with bad connections and dirty contacts. Just to understand a little bit this little piece. There is a mechanical movement inside and this mechanical movement comes from a thermostat.
What makes the thermostat to bend the piece of metal is a little chip that is in there. That chip is a thermal resistor. It will heat and will bend the metal piece and it will action the switch. The switch is right there. Sometimes we can service the door lock by cleaning the contact and by cleaning also the little resistor in there but do not remove the thin film from the resistor. This is the water pump. Water pump doesn't have too much problems. Well, sometimes we have to clean it once in a while because we we'll get full of fibers and this is uh, something related with the normal maintenance we have to make in the watching machine. To test it is very easy. With the ohm meter, if we don't have access to make measurements of voltage or current, with the ohm meter we can solve it. And its resistance should be just a few hundred of ohms too. Some machines have heating elements to heat the water. And this kind of element it has a problem with the minerals accumulation. The easiest way to clean the minerals accumulation is always with vinegar. There is no better chemical than that. It has a thermal switch. Never attempt to bypass the thermal switch because if something is wrong with the temperature control, the thermal switch will ensure to open the circuit and the heating element will not melt the watching machine. This is the guy who has the major task in it, is the motor. This kind of motors sometimes have two directions, so they have several wires. Also, there is always a kind of sensor this sensor is the sensor for the rotation, for speed uh, reading, or for position too. To test that sensor is very easy. Just with a piece of iron, and better if it is a magnet, move it around, and the minimum movement on it with the metal will make a variation in the voltage. Like many AC motors, we have brushes. And guys, I will tell you something. This motor was working six years and I trashed the watching machine because mechanical problems with the drum. And as you can watch here, the, the brush is full live. The only way we have to change the brushes is when they get wet and that's almost impossible. Mechanical problems in the motors are common and it is with the bearings and because the lacking of lubrication. But when we hear noises, one of the main sources is the bell that is telling it's time to change it before it starts jumping out of its position. Truly, most problems with the motors they are related with the triac, with the lacking of contact base on it, or bad contacts in relays. Remember guys, 70% of the issues with watching machines will be with bad defective electronics components, but 30% they are related with bad contacts. And when I mean bad contacts, they could be anywhere and we sometimes forget to start right here. Here we have the first serial resistance with the watch machine. As example, this connector is already creating a serial resistance. Our serial resistance should be always less than one ohm or one ohm. That's it. All those components are the parts in the watching machine and the service is very easy. 
Guys, if the video was worth it for you, please do not forget to subscribe and to give a like. Thanks by watching the video. See you next time.